His Excellency Governor Babatunde Tunde Radifashola's discretion, direction, sorry. We are now dealing directly with Oracle Corporation worldwide. And the fruit of that direct relationship is what we are witnessing here today. The various initiatives under the Human Capital Program of the state include, number one, the Lagos State Oracle, Oracle University, which will make all the faculties of Oracle training available to the staff of the Lagos State Public Service, including the state, local governments, parastatals, university, and polytechnic employees. Oracle courses will now be delivered regularly using our facilities, such as our Public Service De Development Center in Magodo, the Digital Village and E-Learning Center. This will, go a long, this will go a long way in boosting the human capacity of the state workforce and therefore increase the adaptation of Oracle in the state. The second one is Workforce Readiness Program. With this program, recent graduates of the state will be trained on all relevant Oracle applications, thereby making them more readily marketable and reduce the need to import this skill set from other countries. This initiative of the Governor Babatunde Radifashola's administration is geared towards reducing the rate of youth unemployment in the country as a whole, while at the same time increasing the attraction of organizations to set up businesses in Lagos State, given the increased availability of skilled employees. The third one is the Oracle Academy. With this program, the Global Curriculum Oracle courses will now be readily available to students in Lagos State University, Polytechnics, Colleges of Education, and Secondary Schools. The readiness for this program computer science departments of both the Lagos State University and Polytechnic have undertaken a review of their current course contents to ensure that they are in line with global Oracle worldwide standards. Oracle has also commenced the training of instructors from all these institutions using the train the trainer approach, which will further boost the ability of these departments to sustain the program. The Oracle Academy program will also be available at selected secondary schools of the state. I would like to commend the staff of the Ministry of Science and Tech and the Financial Systems Management Bureau for this great initiative. Most especially, I will wish to appreciate our Oracle partners for extending to us this laudable gesture as a reward for a long-standing and cherished relationship between us, which has been, I believe, mutually beneficial. I pledge the continued dedication and support of my office in ensuring that the success of this program continues to blossom. up. I thank you very much for this. Thank you, Richard Esma. At this point, I would also like to call on the Honorable Commissioner for Establishment to say a few words, because without her support, I mean, a lot of these things would not come to fruition. Honorable Commissioner Ma. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'd just like to adopt the protocol that has already been established. Well, in my ministry, what we do is to develop human capacity. And we have to been doing that ever since the ministry was created. In recent times, emphasis has shifted from the physical development of infrastructure to the 
infrastructure of the mind which we are trying to achieve through technology and that is basically why we are here. I do not want to repeat all that has been said, but what we want to achieve in our ministry is to turn out the best for legal state. We are we are the best now, but I know that things can get better. All I can say from my ministry's point of view is that we are ready to collaborate with you in whatever capacity that you deem fit and in good time also. As you are aware, we are going into another round of budget process and in recent times the budget allocation of training has been moderated. So in the areas where you think emphasis should be laid, this is the time to put such together so that when you want to defend budget, we can put it forward. If you depend on the global allocation that we are being given, that is not enough to run one of your programs, talk less of the 53 or 54,000 strong um, civil servants that we have. So what I'm saying in a sense is that wherever we need to come in, the resources that we need is better planned well ahead of time so that we do not get disruption in the course of the year. Otherwise, I want to key in into your program and to wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Um, at this point, I'd like to call on Mr. Adebayo Sonny, who is the country manager for Oracle, to give us an overview of the Lagos State Human Capacity Oracle Initiative. Mr. Sonny, thank you. Thank you. So, commissioners, permanent secretary, head of service, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my honorable colleagues. Um, and this really, from an Oracle point of view, marks a really exciting day. And I did mention this yesterday when we had a, another level of workshop we're trying to do with Labour State. Now, why is this truly exciting for us as Oracle? Uh, because it truly marks the next level for us as an organization in terms of how we move from being a Lego State partner, uh, sorry, a Lego State uh, vendor, which we have been for many years, into truly partner with Lego State as far as uh, capacity building is concerned. And this is also in line with the executive governor's um, initiative of building um, capacity for better governance. And Oracle feels extremely very proud to be part of this initiative. Uh, I'm just going to touch on four key topics uh, before um, I hand over back to the permanent secretary. I want to talk about Oracle in Nigeria and what are we doing so far. The second is what are we, what is the current situation as we see it today from our own perspective. The third is what are we announcing today, which is really uh, our build capacity in the state, partnering with Labour State. And the last pretty much is just giving a close uh, in terms of um, from a conclusion point of view. Um, Oracle in Nigeria will be here for many years. And I'm sure, uh, just with a side, is there anyone today here that does not know Oracle as an organization in Nigeria? Show of hands. I believe everybody does. But what we are doing today, uh, but if I start to talk about what are we doing as far as Nigeria is concerned, and what has happened particularly over the last 13 to 14 months, and that filters into why we believe that today marks um, the next phase of the journey of what Oracle is doing. Over the last uh, 14 months, Oracle has invested significantly in Nigeria. We've done that for many years. 
but more so over the last 14 months. Now that's an indication of Oracle's faith and belief in the, in the growth potential that the country itself has. We have an office in Nigeria in Lagos, which we've always had and we're expanding. We've grown the number of people by, by almost threefold. We've, we have a satellite office in, um, in Abuja, uh, which is to cater for the public sector area from a federal government point of view. Um, the other part of what we've also done is we've put a very strong leadership in place. Over the last 14 months, I've come on board as a managing director, um, running the operations for Oracle. We've also gone a step further in positioning Nigeria as a major arm for West Africa and even for Eastern part of Africa too as well. So we have a few positions that run across the whole of Africa. Our HR director who is a Nigerian was hired to be based out of Nigeria, a Nigerian running the whole of Africa from an HR point of view. The procurement director is a Nigerian running the entire Africa operations in terms of procurement for all of Oracle. This before now never existed. Uh, and, and so many more. So what we've done is put a very strong leadership in place to make sure that we are focusing on our coverage and making sure that we have the right level of people that can engage with, uh, with our customers and partners. And part of that is what we've done and you know, a foot of that is what has happened over the last 14 months in terms of the engagement with the, uh, with the governor and the mandate the governor has actually made in terms of taking the Oracle relationship to a different level. Um, so for us, from an Oracle point of view, we feel very proud. We're investing more and the next phase of our investment is truly in terms of capacity building as far as um, the country is concerned and particularly with Lagos State. And today marks one of such uh, moves that we're actually making. Now, let's look at what is the current situation today. And, and I'm sure we all know that um, from a youth point of view, our uh, youth today is about 70% of the entire 160 million. I want to believe that that number is correct if it's, uh, once it gets validated. So you can do the extrapolation and put the numbers in place. 70% are youth today. 33% of that entire population is within the age of 10, 10, 10 to 24. Now let's ask ourselves valid questions. Is this an opportunity or is this a challenge? Now let's look at it from a challenge point of view. The challenge is how do I take this 70% and provide them with the right skills to meet the, the elevation Nigeria has seen in terms of being recognized as the, next, as the biggest um, um, country in Africa from a GDP point of view. With unemployment that's still at 50%. So how do we make sure that we have the skills in place? How do we find employment for these youths that we're talking about? No, this is a key, this is a challenge that we need to address. The opportunity it brings is we have 70% vibrant young people that have the energy and the creativity to drive innovation. Now, we all know that innovation for us is truly the next phase of what is actually going to drive um, economic growth. So, if we look at innovation as that, then we start to look at technology is a key vehicle to try and achieve this. Java is a tool to, uh, to achieve this with. So if we look at it in terms of you know, where we are today and what and how it also goes in line with what the federal government has announced, which uh, by the Honorable Minister of, um, of Science and Technology, Mrs. Um, Omobola Johnson, in terms of the government's commitment to double its investment in ICT. And that's going from 25, near $25 billion to $50 billion over the next few years. Now this is key, but the IT skills that we have in place today is a potential slowdown to that growth. Now this is why this is key for us in terms of first as a nation, secondly as a state, to understand the situation we're in and the perspective in which Oracle is looking at this. So we understand the fact that we're doing business in Nigeria. We understand the fact that uh, we need to partner with states, especially with Labour State, in terms of that has a mandate and an initiative to understand what the current situation is and to do something about it. So now we understand the current situation. What are we doing about it as Oracle? And what are we doing about it 
as, as the government of Lagos State. And this is what we're announcing, and I don't want to rehash it. I know the head of service has spent time just going through, um, through the various uh, things that we're doing. Number one is really how are we looking at our existing talent today, which is really what we call employee readiness. So we're partnering with Lagos State, collaborating with Lagos State in terms of providing taking them to a series of, um, of workshops, and we're talking about C-level executives of the state, in terms of how they can use technology as an enabler to actually drive better governance, which goes in line with the executive governance uh, initiative. So we've, first of that was actually started yesterday, we had a fantastic session yesterday, where we had the C-level executives of Lagos State actually come in, where we took them to various um, industry trends, market trends, what is going on, international references of what, uh, on what obtains. And I believe we have uh, another eight models or so to go. Uh, but this is the first set of it. What are we doing with the existing talent today and how do we truly use technology to drive innovation? So it still goes back to it and it's still part of the human capacity. The second part of is the what are we doing with our new talent today? And the new talent part is what we call our workforce development program, which is pretty much to look at um, the young graduates that are here, that, are, that graduate today with 50% unemployment. What is our own quota? What is the government looking about, are doing about it? So one of such, by partnering with Lagos State, is also training. Um, and the first set of it is training about 50 graduates through two tracks of, um, of Oracle, um, solutions. One is the e-business, the other is um, the database, where we have 25, 25 of them, I believe, um, as we speak. This is ongoing right now, part of that training. The whole idea is that once we have those graduates, what do we do with them? It, it provides them the opportunity to have internship programs with the, the state, and the governor has actually, um, uh, I believe, has actually instructed that um, some of these graduates be absorbed as interns into the state. I believe that's the case. The other part of it is also what do we do with the others, and that works in terms of our partners and our customers today, Oracle customers, where they've gone through this training and they can then be of, um, of good use, not just graduates, because we also understand the fact that there's a, there's a missing link between the graduates we have today and in terms of what the expectation of the employers um, that they, they go and work for. So this is actually part of our human capacity uh, program that actually collaborates with the government. The third of it, and the last is, is really in terms of the future. Because we also understand as we build and we need to sustain this, we need to provide the next layer of talent. And if we understand that technology is the core, is in the core of innovation, we need to make sure that we're bombarding, so to speak, um, our, our students today with what the, the technology enables. And part of that is making sure we go to the universities and the high schools and make introducing computer science as part of the program. The second part of it is making sure that we have Oracle, the more so of technology as, um, as a curriculum in, with, the, with the computer science students in the universities. The whole idea of what we're looking at is to make sure that right from the onset, we're imbibing technology in the minds of our students as they go from secondary school to university. Some of us, when we were, and I'm sure the Oracle Commissioner will remember, that I could say that the first time I saw a computer, a real computer was probably in my final year. You know, but now this is, uh, we have the, the kit with the iPads and all of that. So we've seen technology, you know, revolutionize over the last few years. But the part of it is understanding what the computer can do and also taking it a step further in terms of technology in the true sense is the key factor that we need to take into cognizance. So these three programs is what we're launching. This is very key, we're collaborating. We feel very, very proud to be part of this. Um, and the head of service has actually touched on that too as well. Um, so in closing for me, I honestly believe that this is the right time. We've done a lot in terms of um, working with the, with the government, Lagos State government, in putting this together. Um, and I really, really would like to say a big thank you to the Science and Technology um, Ministry um, under the initiative of the, of, of the governor. In terms of partnering truly with Oracle, as we've, as we've never done before. And this has actually taken a bit of pain in terms of going through what should the state 
being stakeholders in the future of this country and this state. We all understand that whether we like it or not, Lagos State is a mega city and it's been listed as part of the top 20 cities in the world. There's a lot of expectation that come with that. It's just not the population. So what we do today and what Lagos State government is doing is really very laudable. We have the highest level of visibility as far as Oracle is concerned. I had the, the pleasure of um, having a conference call late yesterday with some of the VPs of, um, of Oracle in terms of giving them a feedback, even up to this morning, of what happened yesterday and what we're doing today. So this is the expectation. Oracle will continuously invest as far as Nigeria is concerned. Oracle will continuously you know, work with Lagos State Government to actually build capacity, make sure that we can drive better governance, we can build the next layer of leaders and talents that are using technology um, as a key driver of innovation. We are very proud of today. I thank you very much, and we look forward to working with, um, with the state more. Thank you so much. That elaborate insight on the partnership between Oracle and Lagos State. Before um, we actually take a tour of the classrooms with the Honorable Commissioners and some members of the press, so that um, you don't think that we're just talking. We actually want some key members of the press and members and honorable commissioners to actually take a tour of the classrooms where the training is going on. I have one or two questions that I wish to ask Oracle, Oracle Corporation and Legal State on today's program. Do we have any members of the press that wish to ask any questions before we take a tour of the classroom upstairs? I think, um, I'll just invite the Honorable Commissioner for a start and the head of... Oh, okay, there's a question. Sorry. Yes, um, who are candidates here? What part of it? So how do you recruit them? Is it that they're going to open a system whereby they come and register or anyone can just walk into the school and register? Thank you. Um, uh, the hope, like the head of service has rightly said, is to be able to sustain this program. For the WDP, the goal is to train 400 uh, recent graduates of the state. Uh, who have been selected from this program. Uh, and with regards to the Oracle Academy, uh, University of Lagos and Lagos State University, as well as Lagos State Polytechnic, they are already aligning their curriculum, and also some uh, selected secondary schools in the state are already aligning their curriculum with Oracle-specific curriculum. So you have somebody who is uh, studying accounting in Lagos State Polytechnic, so they'll be toying around with Oracle EBS, so by the time they come out, they are already uh, a pro on that particular application, and it will improve their ability to be able to get job. And also, you can have some of the ways to Oracle payroll. This significantly will uh, attract uh, employees to them and also allow them to be able to get jobs. So we hope to be able to sustain this program using a very transparent service. Training is not an opportunity. 